So today I'm building my first mining rig for you guys and we're using a lot of NVIDIA samples because I've actually sold all my AMD cards off with this Ethereum boom and Steve was kind enough from Hardware Unboxed to send us over a lot of his samples as well. So if this is profitable, of course, I will be cutting him in on those profits. And also we've got here the Ryzen giveaway PC. So six core Ryzen AMD X370 motherboard that is getting built in the near future and given away on the channel. So stay tuned for that. So this build is not going to cost me a whole lot. I did manage to pick up two ASRock H170s on eBay. Uh, they were going on sale last month with that eBay sale. So I got two of them 15% off and also I got... Two uh, Force LE 200s, Corsair were kind enough to send them out. And I've got an i3, spare i3 here, so I'm going to use that as the CPU with the onboard graphics. And Steve also had a spare i3 around. So they're the parts, really. We're going to be using these H170s as they have five PCIe slots on board. Hopefully they all work. I'm also still waiting on the riser cable. So today's going to be like part one of this build, where I'm just showing you some of the parts that I've got, sort of setting it up preliminarily. And then we are going to do part two where I'm going to show you what programs and what currencies I'll try to mine and see if they're profitable for you guys. But let's get into this thing and let's start building it. So here's the GPU rack here. I got my friend to make this up for me because he's into woodworking. And you can see there the graphics cards will actually just sit on this rack. And then you'll have your motherboard and power supply nearby and the riser cables coming off the motherboard. However, since we don't have the riser cables just yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave this off for now and then maybe just set up like four GPUs until the other gear arrives. So here's the first mining rig set up here. I'm waiting on uh, the riser cables to come through before I can complete the build, though this is more of a test and it's actually all working really fine. The fans are really loud and I'm getting over 1400 souls per second and I've got the power limits at 90% each and these overclocks dialed in because each of them need to be overclocked separately. So that is the first one complete. We're gonna get onto the second one now. So there is one slight hiccup here, and this is on the power supply that I bought. I bought a 1500 watt power supply, and you can see here it needs three phase power. So this house I'm in only has one phase power, so unfortunately I am going to have to uh, set up one of these rigs at my friend's house, the one that uses the uh, more powerful components. So there, stage one of this build is complete and it's still very messy, but I still have to wait on a few more parts to come in and then I'll be able to fully complete this and tell you guys how much it is actually making at today's rates and today's difficulty. And on that note, unfortunately, I'm not currently mining the E and I'm not jumping on the D. I'm actually jumping on the Z. I'm using a currency called Zcash and that's got its own little wallet called Zcash for win. So all you have to do to mine these cryptocurrencies is essentially download a wallet and then make your own little address and that'll have a private key attached to that to which you can save onto a USB device and so you won't lose your wallet. And you've heard of all those horror stories where in the past people have lost their Bitcoin wallets with like 5,000 coins or something. That's because they lost that USB uh, stick on it with the address and the key. Though not to get too far off topic, after you've downloaded your wallet and then you've set it all up, you can then choose the miner to download. In my case, I'm using a miner called EWBF Zcash Miner version 0.34B. So I've, set, I've got that set up and that's made specifically for NVIDIA GPUs and they mine really well on this uh, platform. I think, I'm, as I said before, I think I'm getting like 700 solutions per second or something, or I'm mining actually harvesting 700 souls. There are 700 souls coming in and I'm just harvesting them every second. Gang soon wins flawless victory.
Though anyway, poor jokes aside, this is where things can get a little bit tricky because here you have to join a pool. And if you don't want to join a pool, you're essentially just playing your luck. And something like joining the lottery, you could get lucky and win a whole block of coins, say for instance, 10 Zet coins, or you could miss out for months and get nothing at all. So with me, I'm just joining a pool, it's called Supernova, and then you have to go into the text file and edit your details in. So I've went to the Supernova website, registered an account, and then made a worker, and then I've put those details into that batch file, opened it up, and then my GPUs will now get stressed, and then I'll mine on that pool and get a share delivered to my wallet. And then I've got essentially Zcash in my wallet now. Though all that aside, there are a lot of people who are pissed off with cryptocurrencies. A lot of you guys out there in the audience are like, damn, people are driving up the prices of GPUs and people are saying, hey, this is just a waste of power. Um, In ways, I mean, I can't really argue with you guys. I mean, because that's what's happening. There is a lot of power being wasted and GPU prices are going up. It's just in my case, I'm thinking of it as, hey, here's a slice of the pie with cryptocurrencies. So there's a slice of the pie and you can take a slice. Uh, how small it is, but at the end of the day, you can take a slice or you can end up starving. So I'm just putting my samples to use and I'd rather kind of not end up starving. Also, sorry, I haven't made a video for a while. I've been quite sick. I got a virus and that took me out for quite a few days. However, there is some good news and that is that this month's used parts vlog will be coming from Japan. So stay tuned for that. And, and don't forget to use your graphics cards to mine GPUs. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below. Do you want a slice of the pie? If so, why? And if not, why not? Love reading your comments as always, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Hey, going? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? Not too bad. Yourself? Yeah, I'm going all right. I mean, I could be doing better if I had, uh, say, for instance, some of those GPUs uh, you got sitting there on the backdrop. You, you need a GPU? Yeah, actually, more like five. Five. 10, 10, 1080 Ti's. Five 1080 Ti's. Uh, sure, what do you want those for? I uh, Just, uh, you know, a little bit of benchmarking. Okay, no worries. All right, th- thanks, mate. All right, see ya. <laughs>